Hey everybody, Jeff here from the Helmet Center, helmetcenter.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nolan N90 Modular Helmet. During today's review, we're going to give you the basics here on the N90. We're also going to take it out on a road test and give you the real world performance and how the N90 holds up. And of course, once we're done with that, we're going to give you an overview of the helmet and let you know how we think it performed. Okay, let's get started. First off, the Nolan N90, of course, is a modular helmet. That means you can flip the chin bar open. It is DOT certified as well as ECE 2205 certified. It's a polycarbonate shell, features a fully removable liner, has the visor protection system which is a drop down tinted shield operated on the side of the helmet. It is COM ready for the Nolan NCOM intercom system. And uh, that's kind of the uh, basics here of the N90. So let's get this thing out on the road and see how it actually performs. All right, everybody, we are on board with a Nolan N90 doing an onboard product review. During today's review, we're going to cover some of the features here of the Nolan and let you know what uh, we think and how it performs in the real world. So let's get started. First off, I want to talk about the ventilation of the Nolan. Of course, you have the two air intakes on the front. The rear ventilation, you can't control. It's always going to remain open. Um, in terms of do I feel airflow on the top of the helmet? Yeah, I do a little bit. It's not drastic, uh, but I do feel it. In comparison to other modular helmets, I think it's actually in line uh, with some of the other models. The 103 does seem to be slightly better. Uh, not a lot better, but, but slightly. I think if I ran these things back to back, I, I think I would have to go for the 103 as having the better ventilation. In terms of noise, the N90 does seem to be a little bit noisier than the 103 was. Uh, not real bad, but I think a lot of it is, once again, the shape of my head. My head's a little more oval than the uh, N90 allows, so I tend to get a little more air leak on the side of my head. In terms of overall shape, the helmet definitely leans a little more towards the oval side. Uh, oval, oval to round. It is more oval than the N103, so it does tend to fit my head a little better, and it does give me more room in the chin dimension from here to here. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. A lot of folks we know when they put the 103 on and they close it, it hits their chin. If you've ever done that with the 103, the N90 might be your next best bet for uh, getting some room between your beard, goatee, or exceptionally large chin. In terms of visibility, uh, the helmet visibility seems to be pretty good. Side to side looks pretty nice. Shoulder check seems to do pretty well. Don't have to contort yourself completely to uh, see out of the uh, the back side. See if we can pass a couple people here and hang on, Dave. Do a little edit. Next we're going to talk about the weight of the helmet. Now the N90, uh, on a dead scale, you put this right on the scale, you know, it's pretty much right around that four, part, four pound mark, which, you know, for a modular helmet, you know, it's in range, it's a normal, you know, occurrence for the helmets to be around that four pound mark. Well, I don't really feel the weight here on my head. Uh, not that I have a super strong neck or anything, but it just seems to, to be pretty much you know, what I expect out of a helmet, you know, you get that three and a half pound, four pound uh, weight up there, isn't all that big of a big deal. Now, of course, the big deal here with the uh, N90 is, of course, it's a modular helmet, and you have the ability to open it up, and uh, to do so, it's a two-stage function on this. There's a lever under the chin, which you'll push forward, and then you're gonna pinch down on the red tab right here in the front, and I'll do that here real quick. Forward, pinch, Got a simple one-handed operation. Seems to do pretty good. 
Now at 60 miles an hour, I get a little bit of push. I'm not sure if you can hear me or not, but at around 60 miles per hour, we have a little bit of a drag when I turn my head side to side. But as you track straight, it really seems to be fine. It's more just if you turn your head off to the sides where the top is gonna catch a little bit of the wind and you'll lose some of the aerodynamics of the helmet. That's pretty much uh, par for the course there. Uh, of course, it does feature a drop-down sunshade on the side of the helmet. It's called the VPS, the Visor Protection System. Single-handed operation. I'll deploy this down by pressing this in the rearward direction. Now, the nice thing here is the sun's not blinding me, which is kind of nice. And I also actually felt a temperature decrease. Try that again. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell. It's going to give you a couple degrees from the sun. Uh, Definitely makes my face feel a little cooler, at least the upper half. Now, I think I pulled off the uh, film on the inner visor, but I can tell it's a, it's a little fuzzy looking. You know, I've got some wind in my contacts, and maybe they're a little dusty right now, but I can tell at the very top leading edge, if I tilt my head and kind of move it, I can, I can create a little distortion. Now, in normal riding, you would never have that. It wouldn't be an issue. But for the purposes of this ride, there's a slight distortion at the very top of the tint. But in a normal riding position where you're going to look through it, I don't think you'd ever have any issue with that. And of course, the Nolan N90 does feature the optional NCOM system, which is Nolan's communication system, available in a conventional wired system, as well as a wireless Bluetooth system. So if you want to talk on the telephone, uh, talk to a passenger or a nearby friend on another bike who also has an income system you have the ability to do that uh, there's even some specific kits that work uh, for the uh, uh, Honda Goldwing and currently in development uh, a kit for the Harley Davidson so this will be the uh, conclusion of the N90 onboard helmet review Everybody, we just got back from the on bike evaluation of the Nolan N90. Let me tell you, it was hot out there today. Um, but uh, that being said, um, give you a quick uh, overview of the helmet and how it performed. Uh, overall, the helmet's very nice. Uh, it's an Italian built helmet. Nolan has always made very, very nice modular helmets, as well as other helmets also. Uh, but they seem to specialize in the modular. That really seems to be their niche. Uh, the N90 overall compared to the N103, it's a little bit less expensive. Uh, it does have a different shape overall to it. It is a little more geared to folks who've got more of a, a longer face, a longer uh, oval type head, or maybe even a more protruding jaw. There's probably a good inch of difference in that range. Uh, so if you do have a, a longer face, this might be something you want to look into. The noise level of the helmet, um, kind of a, a little story behind this. I rode this helmet a couple days ago, and I wanted to re-ride it. Uh, the first ride, I just wasn't super impressed. I was kind of irritated by the noise level in here. To be fair, I had just ridden a couple of Arai helmets that fit my head really, really well and a lot of cushion, and that may have kind of muffled some of the noises that I was feeling or we should have been hearing. Where on the N90, while I don't get a perfect fit, that first day seemed incredibly loud. Uh, as I rode it again today, it really was nowhere near as bad, and I think maybe I was a, I was cranky perhaps uh, out there in the heat after a long day of helmet reviews. Uh, it wasn't as windy today, but I took it up to some pretty good speeds, and I didn't really experience what I had thought I had realized last week. So um, definitely the noise level isn't bad compared to other modular helmets. It's pretty much in line uh, to what you're going to see with uh, its competition out there. Um, Feature-wise, you know, you really can't go wrong with this thing. You've got the internal drop-down visor, which is real easy to operate with one hand. One thing I actually kind of liked, and I was kind of telling the guys when I got back to the shop, was uh, when I deployed the drop-down visor, it instantly got cooler. And I ride with a, a tinted shield on my full face, but pretty much you leave your house, you have the tint on there, you don't really notice it until you have a, the option to remove it, you know, kind of back and forth. And the difference from just the heat of the sun w was drastic. That was probably one of the biggest things that I, I picked up here on this helmet is the drop-down makes your face a lot cooler. 
Um, the helmet, of course, features the ENCOM system. It doesn't come with it, but it is an option for the helmet, as I mentioned in the video. Uh, Harley-Davidson has one in development. I should say Nolan has one in development to fit the Harley-Davidson. The Goldwing version is already out, as well as the standard wire and the Bluetooth. Um, overall, you know, the helmet's very nice. Uh, definitely, you know, if you get a chance to try one on, uh, you probably would love this thing. Um, the micro lock, kind of nice. The two-stage opening, very, very nice. Uh, the helmet retails around $300. There's also a second version called the N90S, which is approximately $30 less retail. Uh, it doesn't come with as fancy of a bag, and it doesn't come with a pin lock like you get with the $300 retail version. Uh, depends on where you live, that's even a feature that might even be important to you, but you can always add it after the fact. Uh, the N90 comes in tons of colors. The N90S comes in about three color choices. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, any further questions on the Nolan N90 or any helmet for that matter, or just want to talk, give us a call here at the Helmet Center. We'd uh, be happy to help out if we could. Uh, our number is 866-NEW-HELMET. 866 New Helmet. You can also stop by one of our two locations in the Phoenix metro area, one in Peoria, one in Phoenix. I'm Jeff with the Helmet Center. Thanks for watching.